this is why I should always set a timer. Those were beets. They still might be beets under all that burnt and this pan. Uh, I do have a trick to cleaning a pan that's burnt like that. You just add some, uh, I think it's baking soda and water, bring it to a boil and then cover it and shut it off. So I'm hoping I can get the pan clean. But I'm hoping the beets are still okay under there because I'm planning on making um, some beet Rubens uh, this weekend. So anyway, always set a timer. Jeez. And yay, the beets are fine. Look at them, they're beautiful. So I'm just going to slice them up on the mandolin nice and thin. So they're ready to go for this weekend for some beet Rubens. You ever had a beet Reuben? Gotta have a beet Reuben. Okay, so I don't know, can you see? I sliced this beet really, really thin. You know, like thinly sliced corned beef, if you will. So, um, yeah, I've got a big pile. This is four beets. They were four, you know, kind of medium, largest size beets. I'm not sure how many sandwiches this will make. I'll let you know. So anyway, I got my cooked beets sliced thin. Okay, so this is my burnt pan that I added um, baking soda to, baking soda. I'm bringing it to a boil and then I'm going to cover it and put a lid on it and shut it off and hopefully it'll clean itself. Okay, so this pan, I brought it to a boil with the baking soda in it and then just covered it. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it seems to be just easy to scrape off the bottom. So, yep, this, plan, this pan's gonna make it. Despite my best efforts to kill this pan, it is going to live. Yep. Yep, see, comes comes right off. Okay, so for the sauce that's gonna go on the Reuben, um, I'm just gonna use some just mayo. Use any kind of mayo you want. You can use like any recipe for any mayo, but I just happen to have just mayo on hand. I'm going to use just mayo. I'm going to use some organic ketchup, and I'm going to use some extra hot horseradish here. And then I'm just going to stir that all up and taste it and um, adjust my quantities as necessary. I It normally has like four times the amount of mayo than ketchup, but I did it the other way because I'm going to be heavy on the ketchup and light on the mayo to cut down on fat. So anyway, this is going to be the sauce for the beet Reuben. And here is the view Christmas morning from my parents' house in the Northwoods. Northwoods of Wisconsin. It's a side yard. A little bit nippy out. So I totally forgot to show the assembly of the sandwich here, but basically I've got I've got a nice rye bread with um, some chow cheese, the sauce, sauerkraut, and the beets. And then I baked these. I didn't put them in the oven. I baked them in the oven. I mean, I did put them in the oven. I didn't put them on the stove. I baked them in the oven because I did um, I did five sandwiches at once. So I just baked them at like 375 for like 10 minutes and then flipped them and then 10 minutes on the other side. So here we go. It is the beet Reuben. It's delicious. <laughs> 